How you doing? This is Grizzstar, and today I'm going to be messing around with instrument layers and instrument selectors, and possibly effect selectors and FX layers. What I want to do is I want to do something a little crazy. I want to create a track, generative track, solely in one actual Bitwig track. So I want to make a beat in a track, one single track. And the way I'm going to perform this is I'm going to put it all in layers, which have layers inside of them, which have no grids and things to have help me select the layers so that I can have a melody layer within here, a chords layer within here, a bass layer within here, a drum layer with here, within here. And then within the melody layer, there's another sub layer that's going to have multiple MIDI tools that allow me to sequence more VSTs that will fire off different types of sounds. So I can have, I have a large selection of Aturi instruments and I'm going to probably use a lot of them today, as well as some other VSTs. Mostly, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use Captain Chords to kind of, because it, it can sync within itself all of the different things, most of the layers are going to contain Captain Chords types of functionality, and then I'm going to split from there, or I'm going to use, like for the melody layers, I'm going to use actual several layers of Captain Chords, melodies, epic, all of this is epic. We're going to, we're going to dive into Captain Chords, epic, the, the, the bass, the chords, then the melody, and we're going to have probably a couple of different melodies going. We're going to probably have a couple of maybe bass lines going, and we're going to just use actually one uh, drum track, or we're going to use just one dra drum track. Ultimately, I think we're just going to do one play epic, maybe, maybe two, maybe do drum patterns. Usually just a kick in the snare, nothing really fancy. We kind of kind of want to create the rug, the rug, if you will. Do we want to tie the, the track together using it? Okay, so let's get it started. So what I want to do is I want to start, start it off with creating a layer. I'm going to use Captain Chords here, and it's going to sort of sync with all it's actually not sort of it's going to sync with all of the tracks that it's going to be in here that's one of the one of the key reasons why i want to use it i want to produce some generative music but i kind of want to keep it together and the captain chords is a great way to keep everything in sync and still do it the 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 major problem of the way i want to do this is is that you only have kind of technically and i want to play by these rules you only have one source of midi up here now i could go in and create a whole bunch of different tracks and then use the note receiver, realistically have a couple of those loaded and dedicate those per track. You could do that. You you don't need to use Captain Chords for what I'm about to do. Realistically, you can use the different tracks and then use the note receiver to import stuff from other tracks, the MIDI from other tracks, and then and do what you do. At first thought, I was thinking, well, hey, I, I can use a whole bunch of MIDI tools to do this and knock this out. I have them, so why not use them? That's probably my main thing. So let, let me get a kind of a simple chord progression going. We got our, our chord progression down. Now, what we want to do is we want to get in some type of beat. So we're going to drag in That's cool.
Okay, I think this is probably going to be my new favorite way of getting beats <laughs> for getting uh, drum patterns. Speed it up a bit. So we got the we got the chords, we got the beat. So now we can mess around with melody and stuff like that. But I don't want to just create a simple melody or a bass line. I kind of want to alternate. So what I want to do is I want to bring in a selector. I want to bring in an instrument selector for the next layer. And that selector is going to be able to select different stuff. And what is it going to select? It's going to select the Captain Melodies. I want a couple of them loaded. About five different melodies should do it. I'm probably going a little crazy here. Stop it. You're going crazy. So we're going to do this melody. That melody. That's a melody. And this is actually really cool. So for if you want to try to generate a bunch of melody ideas that you know don't know what it's going to go with, you could do this. Okay, after some weirdness, I found out that these don't work really well with the instrument selector. I'm just going to put them in a layer and I'm just going to I'm going to basically turn off and on the volume on these to kind of get what I, what the intended effect is. With the instrument selector, it would have been easy. I would have put in a CC that goes in back and forth in between them and be able to kind of, because I kind of want to cut them off and cut them on. And I think the only way to do it is to be able to grab a thing and, and uh, so let's, let's do a note layer or a note grid. And what I want the no grid to do is I want it to, I don't, I could care less about that information. In fact, I, I don't want it at all. I just want it to send a CC so that my volumes could pick up a certain CC. And we did this earlier last, last year, well, at, at the New Year's, around New Year's, to, of that information, all I want is CC outs, and I want five of them. All right, and then I want five mid middies. All right, you're going to be on one. You're going to be on two. You're going to be on three. You're going to be on four. You're going to be on five. All right, and then I want everybody to be zero. Okay, so every time one of these CCs goes up, this goes up, if this goes up, this goes up, and so on and so forth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a gate. I'm going to make it so hopefully this will be every bar. I want something to happen, and that something is going to be... I'm a moron. More on that in a minute.
Okay, so I have something that's kind of cool. It does change it kind of sporadically, but as you can see here that the volume goes up and the numbers are getting done by the sample and holds. Not too bad, but I kind of want to get them all on the same page. So I'm going to probably sit here and see if I can't re-trigger. And sync them all up to a single source. But I'm kind of doing this a little wild. I kind of like that. Actually, now that I think about it. Okay, one more layer. And we're going to do the same thing with bases. In fact... I want to duplicate this layer. And instead of Captain Melody, I want Captain Deep. One last crazy thing before I end this video. It's been taking quite a while, or actually not quite a while. I want to do some more additional select layers. No. No. No, I'm I'm uh I'm just gonna do
What I did was I used a lot of Arturia different things and each one of these still has the Captain Melody but now it's being powered by the Arturia instrument. So we have a Jupiter, we have a CS80, we have OBXA and they're kind of all default at this point just to get the different sounds going. Let's try that one. Everything sounds great. It's it's uh you, you could probably leave this for a while, and if you get tired of the chords, you can always change them up. And every because this is all combined with Captain Chords here, you can actually. Change the chords up. And it should change up everything else or it should go within the stuff. Or within the... Stay within the chords that you get. But if you get tired of the chords, you can change up the chords here. Probably insanity, but overall, kind of kind of cool, kind of genius. All of all of this is made up by, of course, Captain Chords. We didn't have to think up a melody at all. We didn't have to think up a chord. Well, we did have to think up a chord progression, but realistically, everything else kind of fell into place. And overall, just a kind of cool, generic little beat going. And it could be a good launching point for something else further, or just keep adding more stuff to it and tweaking the randomization of this to make it a little bit better and get it a lot further, uh, a lot better to be able to do it actually on the, you know, tweak it to your liking. If you don't like it the way I have it programmed, you know, go in and tweak it to your liking. But overall, kind of the concept is there. It's a really cool little concept of basically kind of generating a... Uh, Generative music. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Thanks for listening. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you later.